There's a relationship showing up, isn't there? Does anybody have any idea what that relationship is called? Okay, let's step back. What relationship am I talking about? What's going on here? With a couple of exceptions, like this, let me get up here. This is an exception. This one's a little bit different. You get, what can you say about almost all the rest of them? Around three. Around three. Not just the same, but uh, you could be more specific and say a little bit over three, aren't they? So in other words, the diameter of a circle will go into or divide into the circumference of that circle roughly three times. In, in almost every case, or in every case, of a perfect circle. Now, there's a name for that relationship, and it's, it's hugely important in science and math and architecture and everything. Anybody know what it is? Well, we've established a pattern, but there's, like you had a specific name for around a circle with circumference. What's the technical name or designation for this relationship that you just demonstrated here, 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 here? It's coming up uh, March 14th. Okay, so, and we use that symbol to represent it. And it's actually what? Mm -hmm, which is... And this is one of those classic repeating decimals that goes on forever, literally, infinitely. And so that's how we establish that relationship. Now, what's important about that? What can you, um, well, let's do one other thing. Can you rewrite this in a way that's a little more easy to work with? Because like if you have had algebra, for instance, how can we get everything, instead of having a fraction in there, how can we get rid of that fraction? When you want to get rid of it, something on one side of an equality, what do you do to it? Or divide, depending on the, the situation. And once you do one side, you have to do what? Do the other side. So let's divide through by uh, diameter. Of course, I always pick the worst. Uh, this one's going to the recycling bin. I don't know if that, will that work? Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's divide through by diameter. This one going to, to um, be removed on that side and it moves to this side. Now just to make it a little uh, more easy to read, so now we're saying circumference is equal to the diameter of a circle times pi. And so that has amazing amounts of utility and importance, like I said, in science and in art and in music, not in music, but in architecture, in math, it goes on and on and on. Okay? Now, for instance, go ahead and go back to your seats. And I'm going to give you a problem to work based on what you just learned about pi. <laughs> so did you have one of those aha moments just now, some of you? I did the first time I saw it. I was, I was uh, already, I was an adult teacher. And I've, I've been, oh, that was uh, Chloe Moses' uh, science fair project with the, um, the bubbles that would grow in water. Uh, I forgot what they're called. It's, uh, okay. Oh, um... I don't know, craft makes so many different things. Probably not. Yeah, that'd be my first guess. Did someone pick up that trash and put it in the... Just set it in the hall. I used to draw it. And uh, so, okay, he's got that emptied out now where you can measure the top of the bottom. Did someone pick up that trash around it? Where are we going to... Gee. Halfway? I don't know. Wow. You pick it up. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, well. Yeah, please, let's do that, Dan. Okay, um, go ahead, and if you've got at least one, that'll be good enough. And uh, If anybody wants to uh, expand that chart for us. Uh, right got it! I'll take it up. Anthony or Drake, right the pop-up part, move it over to by my uh, laptop. And then you have a little bit of space there. I don't want to raise the pop-up part. Right so, no, because um, that's a Dr. Farinelli orig original. Um, rewrite your, uh, Rewrite this, this part right here, and then you can extend your, your chart. And you can also extend to the left, probably.
what do we get on? Did somebody did get the size Nick, of this one? Okay, yeah. excellent. And now we have a bit of variety. We have kind of like an extreme at both ends and then some in the middle. And gotta have the business. Um, okay. Girls, if you, if you want to extend the chart this way, go ahead and do that. And as you're, as the girls are getting theirs up there, their their data. Start looking over the data and start thinking about um, the numbers. And are there any relationships there? Are there any trends there? What are you, uh, are you picking up on anything? Um, Yeah, like it's not there. Oh, right yeah. too. Oh, I thought it was zoomed as high as far as it would go. Oh, no, it's zoomed out. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, well, it's, uh, if you want to, and then we can all work together right here and kind of figure, figure this out. He did this in about three seconds. He was yeah. It's amazing. He's so, he's so talented in so many different areas. And it's just one of those, one of those people, kind of people. All right. <laughs> oh, still getting theirs up there. Okay. So, so has anybody noticed any? Yeah, you can extend it out so that way we'll have more. Most of them are around 30. We don't, need, we don't need, need to do any more measurements in this class. This is one of the smaller classes. But. Where did you get a chest piece? 35 centimeters around. Do what? The big chest piece. Um. Around the 50. Okay, so those were our extremes from. What was the smallest? Oh, never mind. Now, girls, does that say that the chair seat was 113 centimeters around? Yeah. Okay, now look at our, oh, big can. That, that was yours, right? Yeah. Oh, trash can. Okay, trash can's down here. All right. I was thinking for a second. The trash can, or the, um, the chair seat from the lab was much bigger than the trash can, and that couldn't be, but now I understand. What are you looking for, Drake? Huh? What are you looking for? Okay, I'm going to give you some specific questions as you're looking at that data to think about. Are there any trends? Are you looking, Are you seeing any relationships up there? What do you notice about the size of the... And since Drake did this for us, Drake, go ahead and write in it for us. Around a circle is, te is the technical name. What's the technical name for it? Okay, go ahead and write that on there. So, we'll okay, that's an excellent observation. Did you hear what Bindi said? Ben, go ahead and tell them. Okay. Does everybody agree and see what she's talking about? Mm -hmm. Is 10 roughly a third of 37? Roughly? Is 17 roughly a third of 49? Or you could flip that around and say, the, the uh, circumference is how many times greater usually than the diameter? Three. About three times greater. See, so you can reverse that. You can also say that the circumferences are always what compared to the. Um, they're always larger. They're larger, right? So that's another uh, item that we can uh, notice. We've now said that they're roughly three times greater. Okay, now, you want to use a calculator or do it in your head? I want to, I want to take this chart over right here and I want to add a column. This column is going to become the circumference divided by the diameter. And I'm going to put a column over there for your student. 
Okay. Are you, we gonna do this? Are, hey guys, are we gonna do this in our heads? Hey guys, are we gonna do this in our heads, or are you gonna get a calculator or what? Now we need to get some exact numbers. Let's go through, divide this number into this number, and so on, and put the result right there. Or you can round it to tenths of what we get now, or the hundredth place, either one. calculator. If everybody does their own, then we'll get then we'll get them all real quick. So. Guys, figure out the ones that you measure, and then we'll, we'll be done quicker with that part. Okay. I need you to do mine, though. Would that be a circle or an oval? Which one? The chair? Uh, that's not a... I don't know the definitive term for that shape. Well, it's kind of a hole in it, actually, when you look at it. Yeah, I would, that'd be my plus of stuff. What I was kind of wondering is what shape are these tables? They, they couldn't be quadrilaterals because they don't have the angles like around the bottom. Well, <laughs> that's kind of nitpicking to me. I mean, it's it's still the basic shape is quadrilateral, regardless of the, the corners. Okay, so be seven right. corners. Okay, now wait, which one are yours? The big can. Right, 3.5 right here. So David has, let's look at David's real quick. Um, what's David's circumference right there on the big can? 15 and a half. Okay, 15 and a half. And then you have 15 across or diameter. Divide 15 into 50 and a half. Or actually 15.7 into 50 and a half. And that may be right what you had, but, okay. Hmm, that's interesting, yeah, because that's off a little bit from what we would be expecting. So let's, sometimes we have outliers like that. So let's go ahead and look at the total numbers that we're getting there. What generally are we getting as a result when we divide the diameter into the circumference? So, close to three. Roughly three, right, most of them. You know, we have a few that deviate a little for some reason, we're not sure why. We can address that, you know, and then figure out. Just a measurement error and different things. <clears throat> Maybe your circle wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. What? What? <laughs> what? 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 Where is it? Where is it? That black looking thing. <laughs> the red one. Neptune, 96, Neptune. Uh, what'd you do? Neptune? Saturn, two hundred and thirty-five thousand and two hundred and ninety-eight miles from the sun. Jupiter, two hundred and seventy-two nine hundred forty-six miles from the sun. Uranus, nine hundred ninety-nine point nine hundred ninety thousand seven hundred eighty-six miles from the sun. Four major parts of the Earth works together as the complex system: rocks. Water, air, and life. My bedding is done. This is what I Okay. On a global scale, each part can be thought of as a sphere, roughly the same size and shape as the planet. The four parts are called the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. Did you do that? Yeah. Is that all you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Isn't that your Yeah. Yeah. yeah.